If I could turn back time. Inhaling sulfur hexafluoride affects the pitch of your voice because it has a much higher density than air. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> When you speak, your vocal cords vibrate, creating sound waves. The pitch of your voice is determined by the frequency of these vibrations. And my voice gets really low, although somehow I'm still funny. It's scientific! <laughs> With the inhalation of sulfur hexafluoride, air is replaced in your vocal tract. Sulfur hexafluoride is about six times denser than air, which means sound waves move through it more slowly. This causes the vocal cords to vibrate at a lower frequency, resulting in a deeper, lower pitched voice. <laughs> Once you exhale the sulfur hexafluoride and replace it with air again, your voice should return to its normal pitch. And the interesting about the sulfur hexafluoride is that because it is so dense, the sulfur hexafluoride stays down in my lungs. I can talk much, much longer with a deep voice. Although sulfur hexafluoride does not chemically react with any of your body chemicals, inhaling it can be dangerous as it displaces oxygen, causing a lack of oxygen that your body needs. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I almost threw up on that one. <laughs> so. so it should not be attempted without proper precautions and supervisions. In addition, turning yourself upside down while taking deep breaths may be necessary to remove all of the sulfur hexafluoride from your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got rid of it. I think that was a gap. <laughs>